Hi, good evening or good morning or whatever. This is Uncle Sam here. I always uh, try to do things in a way where um, it saves time and um, make things um, easier for me when I'm doing any uh, development or software development. Uh, I've mentioned in a pre uh, previous video text expanders. I'm going to demonstrate now how Text Expander helped me in creating uh, models. So, uh, with Live Arms, the application I'm developing at this uh, moment, I create lots of uh, models. So, I'm going to show you one of the models, and I'm going to show also with the help of Text Expander how easy I can create a model. How easy and fast is, is like magic. So um, uh, this is, for example, one of the models, income model. So the model that I do, I'm using Simbast as a, a database, a general database. But each model, first of all, I create static constant that um, make it easy for me to uh, inquire at the uh, the variable <coughs> from outside so I just say income details model dot capital ID I would get ID in here so I'll be able to access um, I'll be able to access the ID variable so I do have all of these variables each variable has of course a type and then this is what I'm calling the this um, model I do have a from JSON and I do have also two JSON. I with all each model I create a um, a two type and that two type will tell me each one of these uh, variables in the model or fields in the model what's the type of that field. So if I want to create a widget that's um, um, that's type aware widget. I can say like what's the type of that uh, field and it'll give me the type of the field. Also I do have here info in order to inquire about the value of a field instead of accessing directly that field uh, like by saying dot id or dot after text salary so that I can manipulate the value before I um, I use it. So, for example, here, if uh, the runtime type of the response was a string, I, I give the response. If it was a timestamp, I give another one, which is I create, I change it from a timestamp into daytime uh, because the uh, saving into uh, Simbast only can save as timestamp. Here, where I call the runtime type of, of the field would give me this type of the field. Um, yeah, this is like a specific for this uh, model where I get the total of all of the double values in this model. And this is a string that gives me the type of this model so that when I create the Simbast, um, uh, uh, Simbast uh, uh, folder, I create the folder based on uh, the type as uh, one of the things that I've done also in here is that I created a um, uh, uh, what they call a um, generic uh, kind of uh, uh, generic uh, methods, which is uh, with, within that method I can say like t dot type, and then it will get the type of that model get the and and give the folder in Simbast if you are using Simbast give the folder the name of that so I can or if it's a Firebase or example you can use the collection so that you give the collection a name so so now let's go back to this uh, the purpose of this is to uh, go and create this model um, I'm gonna go into the folder which is invitation. I will say like I want a new dot file. Call it invitations 
model. And using text expander, the only thing I need to do is I will give the invitations model the name of the uh, model and then all of the variables separated by comma. So I would say um, let's create a variable called can communicate with me is support worker that's specific for the application I'm creating and what's his name and what's his email okay could also put like uh, created created okay so in order for me to create this model I'm gonna say control A so I've selected everything Control X, I'm cutting everything. All what I'm going to type now is Z, Z, M. And without, with that, if I reformat the code, see that the code is clear, no issues with it, and all of the variables that I wanted to create can communicate with me, a support worker, name, email, created, import of, this one is not needed now. The import I needed, the constants from JSON to JSON to type info field and I'm not I'll keep this because I might need it and the invitation the name of the folder. So again, all what I did was I just said that that am. Now, how this is possible? It's possible with text expanders. The text expander I'm using is um, just close this. The text expander I'm using is uh, called Text Expander, and I think it's available for um, Mac as well. Yeah, I think it's available for Mac. And in Text Expander here, all what you need to do is you need to create a um, either a uh, formatted text pictures, plain text, shell script. Probably it's available for Mac, for Unix, Apple Script, or JavaScript. I created this in JavaScript. So you create a snippet in JavaScript. You give it a name. Give it an abbreviation here. Abbreviation here, which is ZZ. I may give it. And this is only plain JavaScript. So in order to prove that, I'm gonna copy this JavaScript. I'm gonna go to. Well, I love using um, just to, to to fix my code or just checking it out. So I got uh, JS to coffee. So J uh, that transcribes or. It interprets the JavaScript into uh, CoffeeScript. But at the same time, it just makes sure that the JavaScript is uh, correct. Makes it easy also to read this or adjust the JavaScript. So I'm going to copy this and paste this. Uh, oh, yeah. I just remembered that uh, this one does not, uh, a coffee script does not accept the uh, templates of this. Uh, probably TypeScript would do the job. So, yeah, I did the TypeScript probably. Chrome. Sorry for that. So, JavaScript. Ah, oh, to TypeScript, yeah. So, JavaScript to TypeScript. <coughs> Converting JavaScript, uh, no, that's the tutorial playground. An online, yep, yeah. already in TypeScript. And I would say here the language is JavaScript. Yep, yeah, this is the one I used, yep. Yeah. So th this is it, it's just plain JavaScript. It's just plain JavaScript. 
So um, it's just defining the variables in here. Um, so if you know what, what JavaScript is, it's very easy to run it. If you don't know, it will take you probably 30, 30 minutes to do one. It took me like 30 minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm very new to JavaScript. I don't know much. I don't do much of JavaScript. It's just like very easy to do that. Um, so all what I did is I uh, created the different components, the different parts of the uh, uh, the model. And uh, with um, the expander, you could use percent clipboard, which takes the data from the clipboard. I took the data from the clipboard and then replaced all the spaces with nothing. So I removed all of the spaces, split it with the comma, and then the first one is my class name, so class, and then the first um, uh, first element of this array. And uh, here also I do have a loop that starts with one, to the array length, and preparing everything that's uh, repetitive within the script, and then uh, flush the script to the to the screen, which is full. Uh, just just typing the. Uh, the variable here. So it's very easy. Um, I'm happy to share uh, this code with you. Just have a look at it and um, I hope you find it uh, interesting and helpful and um, enjoy um, coding. Thank you so much for watching.